Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. At 24 years old, this actor already has 30 Ooh. acting credits under his belt. And with roles in major movies like Acrimony and Superfly, he's blossoming into one of Hollywood's brightest stars. Please welcome to Sister Circle Live to Real yeah. Hill. Oh, yeah! Hey, right like, here. Cool, cool, cool. So surreal. What's going on? You're looking like Chris Brown. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Do people tell you that? And do you get yeah. mistaken for him yeah, a lot? I, I hear that a whole oh my God. lot. I hear it a whole lot. Uh, I didn't get to pick my face, though. You know? Right. But uh, I don't let it like consume me. I've been hearing it for a very long time, like since seventh grade. Oh, so, okay. You know, it's it's something I'm used to. But yeah. it's not a bad face to have. Right. <laughs> Both of y'all are very good looking. Well, I'm, I'm a big fan of his. Right. So have, hopefully have you we get to work together. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You might just play his little double or something. Yeah. I want to play his brother. I'll, I think I'd rather play his brother. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. So your passion began behind the camera. Camera. Absolutely. When exactly did you get bit by the acting bug? The acting bug took place in college. Mm -hmm. um, coming from Rio Valley, I never really thought acting was an option. Yeah. So I always wanted to just be behind the scenes. And then I was put in a position where I had to be in front of the camera and it was mm -hmm. more natural than anything else I ever did. Oh. So I just felt like it was time to start dabbling in that. Of course. So what is what gratification do you get from producing and directing as opposed to acting and vice versa. You get to control the narrative and the mm -hmm. content. Wow. It's different. Um, as an actor, even now, I don't really get to pick the roles I get to do. But when you're a writer and you're directing and you have a creative control mm -hmm. over the content, it becomes something that you're more consumed with. Yeah. You know, your credits are more than just who you play. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. whole project came together because of you. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You have reoccurring roles in the quad, mm -hmm. um, being Mary Jane. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how was it working with Gabrielle Union and Anika Noni Rose? Mm -hmm. So I, I got the pleasure of meeting both of them. In both shows, my character didn't interact with those two, right. but I got right. to meet them, mm -hmm. and they are... Uh, they're gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're gorgeous. They're uh, inspiring to be around. And it was probably one of the best experiences. The Quad was actually the first show that I booked, mm. uh, the first network TV show. And nice. I booked that while I was a student at Clark. Okay. So it was a lot of fun. We got to shoot we'll on campus, you. too. So it was cool. Yeah. Yeah. So who is your favorite actor? Wesley Snipes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be one. That'd yeah, be the best. Wesley yes. Snipes is, is probably... It changes every year, but this year has been Wesley for a while. Mm -hmm. Right. For, for sure. what reason? Just because he's so <sighs> versatile? Or? I think whether it's a good character or a bad character, you're going to like him regardless. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We know in the past, obviously, obviously we just saw Chris Brown and countless <laughs> actors and, and right. artists who start in the game so young, uh -huh. and then they are forced to live life in front of everybody, and mm -hmm. a, a lot of that living life is uh, pitfalls. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what are you doing to make sure that you stay the course? A lot of prayer. Mm -hmm. A lot of prayer. I pray every single day. I make sure I keep myself in the gym, keep myself active. That helps with stress. Um, I also decided just to pursue things in my downtime. I don't want to just rely on a casting director to change my life, mm -hmm. you know? So every single day, I'm in, I'm also in my master's program right now. So nice. I have 30, yes. hours, Come on, educated. 30 hours of school a week online, uh, but it's, it's, it keeps me busy when I'm not working. Yeah. You know, I'm not sitting at home just waiting for an audition. Good. What are you studying? Creative writing. Love nice. it. Yeah. Well, you know what? I tried to get into the creative writing program at Georgia State, but they told me no. So you keep hey. going. <laughs> you keep going. Don't let nobody deter yes, you. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to keep going. Keep I'm going. Keep right. going. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> All right. So we know that you write music. Um, yeah. What is your lyrical approach to writing? It just depends because a lot of the music that I've written has been used in just soundtracks yeah. for films that I create. Uh, growing up, rapping and doing stuff like that was always something I loved to do. Mm -hmm. And even now, I actually just booked a role where I had to rap. Nice. And okay. since I know how to do it, it wasn't that hard. Right. Uh, yeah. But in the future, I don't really have any interest in like performing and touring and doing oh, all okay. that. I, I would rather just be raking soundtracks for good. films that I produce and working on. But on you never know. Like that's that. good. It yeah. might happen for you though. I, I that who, ain't your who thing. knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Right. So yeah. you're in a really cool series called Cobra Kai. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, talk to us. What is the premise of that show? And then how did it enhance your acting abilities? So we all saw Karate Kid. Yes, right. Of yeah. course. So imagine the two people at the end come up later on in life, maybe 20, 30 years later, and they have children of their mm -hmm. own. So my character interacts with uh, with one of those guys 
uh, sons. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just an all out bout at the end. I mean, they, they all come together and it becomes a, a huge fight sequence. Like I had a lot of fight sequences in the show. I had a yeah. lot of fun doing yeah. it as well. Yeah. Uh, but it was, it was just a really dope experience to be a part of a series like that because it came off the tail end of Karate Kid mm -hmm. and as a big, as a huge, uh, it's a huge genre in itself. Yeah, you know? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Are you belted? Do you, are you really a Karate Kid? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You just play the character. Yeah, right. I, just, I just play the character, right. but uh, right. it, I still, I still, uh, I train a little bit. Yeah. Like, I can box. I used to wrestle, so, I mean, I know a little bit, but that wasn't what I was doing in this show. Right. So, yeah. Really quickly, your 15-second answer. What is next for you? Superfly. Superfly. Nice. June 15th. <laughs> Can't yes. wait. Cannot yeah. wait. That is going to be a dope project to be a part of. Trevor's great. Lex is great. Mm -hmm. KR is great. Everybody's great. I can't wait for people to see that. It's going to be huge. Yes. Nice. Cannot yeah. wait. Good. And guess what? What's up? Terrell is great. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. You are Thank amazing. you guys yeah. so much. Appreciate it was stay an honor. Thank exactly you, Sister Circle. Where you. Thank you. Please stay like this. Stay yeah. like All this. Thank yes. you. Stay Thank, that. You. Right. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much for coming to the circle. We yes. appreciate you. You can catch him in the new YouTube series, uh, Cobra, Cobra Kai, and in the film Superfly, which hits theaters June 15th. Yeah.